Hello, I am a, a waiter bot, and this is my vlog. Uh, it's been a while, and I assume that some of you thought that my vlogs were only going to come to fruition during the Christmas season. You are wrong. Today, I am here to review Cloverfield, the new movie starring nobody you have ever heard of. Uh, it's a monster movie set in New York. Sort of like Godzilla meets Blair Witch. Uh, at least that's what I've been reading. I saw it the other day and uh, I liked it. I, pretty much I liked it. Uh, you know, I guess the, the number one thing on everyone's mind is how cool is the monster? Uh, I guess it's cool. It's sort of like that little thing that wanted that ring. That little creature from Lord of the Rings that, that you know, it's a gog gog. Oh, shit, what the, what the fuck is that thing's name? Smeagol something. Ugh. You know what I mean, that guy. It's sort of like him, but giant-sized, with really long arms and uh, testicles growing on each side of its head. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's all CG. It doesn't look the same in, from shot to shot, but you get an overall sense of an ape-like creature with, uh, you know, lizard-like skin and... Uh, big teeth and it likes to eat people and uh, that's what it does throughout the movie it tramples New York you assume that it's there to eat people and uh, the story centers around five random people or four three four something some arbitrary number of people trying to escape the monster and or save other people from the monster uh, also of note is how the monster is capable of dropping off Smaller monsters who are uh, negotiably unrelated, possibly parasites, possibly children. They look sort of like spiders mixed with crabs, mixed with blur, mixed with, you know, a lot of blur. You, you can't really figure out what they are, but they're scary and they chirp. They're sort of like gremlins, only they, uh, they you know, you can only hope that in the sequel one of them breaks spontaneously into New York, New York. Uh, the characters themselves, they are... Adequate. I like the, uh, what, what's her name? Marlena the best for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, uh, I, I have to assume that the name is in tribute to Goldust's former wife, Terry Runnels, who had a terrific run in the WWF slash E as Marlena, the, uh, the sex pot, gold wearing, crazy bitch slut manager. Uh, Marlena manages to nail one Garfield reference, ha ha ha, before literally blowing up behind a curtain. Uh, we can assume that being bit by one of the smaller creatures causes people to explode. It's a, it's a, it's a strange plot device, but I find that it worked. Uh, the movie it doesn't have a, a solid ending, you know, it just sort of ends when everyone dies. <coughs> uh, it's at this point that I should probably reference, or at least make mention, I mean, of uh, the spoilers that are in my review. Uh, there will be some more of them coming. Uh, <clears throat> what else did I want to say? You know, I've been reading a lot of flack about the, uh, the so-called 9-11 connection, and uh, all I can say to that is that when I think of 9-11, the, the last thing that crosses my mind are little spider creatures biting random women and making them explode. But if you can see the connection, uh, whatever works for you, you run with it. I would give the movie a, a solid B, uh, a B at a you know at a letter grade. I'd give it a B, maybe a B plus. And as far as sequels go, I can see it. It's, it's Cloverfield Two: uh, the, the Return of the Monster, and maybe the monster. <coughs> well, we'll explore its origins and find out that it's a. Uh, uh, it, it's, a, it's a human mutated by eating uh, Slurpee or something, you know. Been following this viral campaign, you, you get the sense that the monster's here in New York to, uh, to find deep sea nectar, which is loaded into this Japanese slushy drink, which is mined by this evil oil tanking company who is hunted down by a uh, ecological anti-terror something or other group called Tidal Wave and uh, somewhere in between all that there's this blonde chick who 
makes videos of herself grabbing a crotch on her bed, and it, I think there's a wax company, too. I don't know. They didn't really explore any of this shit in the movie. It was really just, hey, we're at the party. And then the monster comes and knocks down some buildings, and you get that for about 84 minutes, and then the credits roll. The very odd credits, too. Uh, for the most part, at the beginning of the credits, there's no music. Music doesn't kick in until 16 minutes into the credits. And by that point, you're gone. But if you stayed, you would have heard some whispers that if you play them backwards, it says, uh, uh, play, it says Puffy Stickers. Yes, if you, if you play the message at the end of the movie backwards, it says Puffy Stickers. And I can only take this to mean that the uh, creators of the movie feel that Puffy Stickers really deserve a better, better point of prominence in today's world. Puffy stickers are the, are the best of all stickers, and everyone knows it. Uh, but they, they don't seem to be readily available these days. And uh, I agree with them. I don't understand why that is. But uh, backtracking a bit, rewinding the movie to the very end of the actual movie before the credits roll. There's this shot of the two, uh, the two lovers at Coney Island. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it, it seems like a cliche ending. Oh, oh, we just got eaten by the monster, but look how happy we were a month ago. Uh, but if you But <coughs> <coughs> if, uh, oh. <coughs> Sorry. Now, uh, if you look close at the, the shot, the establishing shot of the ocean, you'll see something shoot down and and land in the water. This could be the monster arriving a month before it's attacked. It could be a satellite. It could be another monster. It could be a, it's something else entirely. The, the, the world is their oyster with what this thing was. And uh, uh, I guess I'm out of things to say about Cloverfield, but like I said, a solid B. Uh, Oscar award winning material. Cool ape-like monster, exploding women, uh, and that's about it. I'm Wade Bob. This is my vlog, and uh, I hope you'll stick around for future vlogs, possibly another movie review. Thanks.